Hey everyone, let's talk about potatoes. I had a friend of mine ask me the other day, how did I plant potatoes? And I can tell you that they are one of the easiest things you can do. Literally, you buy a potato, you put it in the ground, and you can have potatoes. So, Chuck, Cindy, Jen, go to the store, doesn't even need to be seed potatoes, just everyday potatoes. Take a look at them. Go out to your yard and put them in the ground. Uh, I literally bought all of mine from uh, the grocery store this year. I didn't do any seed potatoes. Um, I bought a couple of types that I like, straight white uh, and uh, russet. And I brought them home and put them in a bag, paper bag probably a week or so, and, uh, and then we came out and we put them in the ground. Uh, I'm going to show them to you exactly what we did. Literally, um, this is our trench. Let's see if I can get a good picture of it here. Uh, and that's exactly how we did it. Uh, so this is the garden. This is maybe, maybe a foot and a half across, maybe two foot in spots. Not real precise. I literally hilled it up, scooped off the top layer, left me with a nice flat plane, uh, and then I dug a little trench. Okay, not even too deep. Uh, as you can see, this is the walking edge uh, and the bed right next to it. Uh, then literally, I put the potatoes down, cover them over, uh, and I've got my reserve dirt. Uh, after they pop up. Uh, after they start uh, start setting off shoots, uh, it'll be time to kind of hill them up. Uh, I have heard you don't have to, um, but we do, um, just because we do ours fairly um, fairly shallow. Uh, I suspect all of the uh, potatoes that it will grow uh, will be at the at the potato seed at that level. Uh, or higher. Uh, they're really not going to go uh, deeper than that. Uh, so literally I put these in about uh, about a week ago, uh, but I, I just wanted to show you uh, exactly where they're at and how I did it. So right there in this one, if you can see, hopefully I can get nice and close. This one right here has already got a little green growing on it right there. A little green growing. There is, believe it or not, uh, a top and a bottom to a potato. Uh, so if it has a, a you know a definitive bottom and if it's already got some sprouts coming out of it, you know by all means put the sprouts to the top. Uh, and typically the little pointy. And if you find like a little worm or like a little hair coming off the end of your potato, something like that, okay, that's the that's the root extension from it. That should go down. Okay, not going to be an actual probably root format of just that, but that'll just kind of give you an indication of of kind of the down and the top. Put it in the ground. Like you can see, these are really really shallow. This was just under the ground there. Nice and flat. Give it some water. Uh, needs a watering today. And then wait. Uh, we'll wait till they spring up, yeah, you know, maybe a foot or two, uh, till they start being really nice and big, healthy plants before we hill them up. And then that's potatoes. As long as you, as long as you have some water on them, they'll grow for you. Uh, gotta be careful of the bugs. Sometimes you get bugs. Uh, be mindful of that. But literally, go to the store today. Buy some potatoes, some russets, some whites. I didn't grab any red this year. I should have. I like red. Grab them, put them in a paper bag, just to give them that dark, that dark dry for the week. And by the time you pop them out, you should start seeing the little nubs on them. The little nubs. And when you see the little nubs, it's time to get them in the ground. And most potatoes, they can be 
uh, fairly forgiving as to when you plant them. Uh, it's still the very, very beginning of April here. Um, I suspect I might even have a frost this coming weekend. Um, it's probably going to happen. Uh, but even if these do send up shoots out of the dirt, which they probably won't by then, um, even if they did, it's okay. It's not going to kill them. They're pretty resilient. They'll come back. Uh, but literally, this potato, this little potato, oops, right here, I picked up at the store uh, a couple of days ago. Okay, and I came home and I stuck them in the dirt. But where you see those tiny little divots, those are just the starts. And if you look close enough, you can just catch some of the green, little spouts, little sprouts. That's them. Okay, that's what's going to grow. So, literally, dug a hole. I'll dig that a tiny bit deeper. Stick it in there. I gotta push it down a tiny bit. Cover them back up. That's all that potato needs. Look at that. That's all it needs. Do it. Go to the store, buy a bag of two of potatoes, make a hole in your yard. I'll have potatoes soon enough. That was it. That's all I wanted to share today. Uh, wife and I, we got some other seeds out uh, uh, in here in the garden already. And again, it's still only the, the beginning of April. Uh, I put some, I didn't get garlic in last fall uh, like I should have, uh, but I did put it in really early this spring. Those have already been in the ground a couple of weeks already. Uh, and there's already little green sprouts. Uh, popping up on the top of the garlic. So that is already looking fantastic. Um, Hannah and I got some uh, pea seeds in. Uh, not our main uh, pea uh, area, but we just put a few in just to give a little bellwether. Get some peas up. Uh, it definitely turned into black fly season today. I don't know if you can see those things flying around my head, but oh my goodness. It's black fly time. Go buy some potatoes. They don't have to be seed. Just go buy them.